Since the onset of COVID-19, we've had to appreciate our farmers and the people and businesses that distribute our food even more than usual. They belong to a special category called food heroes. Hi, I'm Garth Williams, and in this video, I'm going to highlight two food heroes in my life. There's a Jamaican saying, you have to turn your hand make fashion. It's the equivalent of necessity is the mother of invention. And that's exactly how Simnan Williams and his partner, Georgia Grant, started their market on wheels in the middle of a pandemic. Here's how it all began. Normal me used to run, tax me used to run, see? But ever since Shani Kobe stepped in, I said, boy, the taxi thing, take a dip, you know. Not a small dip, a big dip you take. Bills appear. I mean, I say, what's the next best? I tell you, I think back and say, boy, the best thing for you know is go into the food, sell some, some products, some market products. Because things are best way that you work out. And it started for the past four, five or six months, you know, where I do it. And I can't complain. Good. If I complain, God will send me a strike. They make great sacrifices to take food to communities across the corporate area. Chief among those sacrifices is sleep. And that starts from early out in the week. We have to wake up early, yes, because early Thursday morning, Thursday morning, we we'll go market. This Thursday morning, we we'll run risk and leave out of the house 315, wow. reach market 345, 335. Wow. Well, I'm not come out of the market until the daylight out. Yeah. Well, him alone lock up in the car over the Tivoli side, but they're all right because they're not really a trouble nobody. This morning, I reached market um, 15 minutes to 5. Yeah. But after doing my cooking, as you know, and um, my clothes, I go to bed last night, I said 2 o'clock, and wake up back this morning 4. Leave out some minutes to 5, reach down the time. But the one good knows I've run down. They have an extensive route across the corporate area, and that's thanks to Mr. Williams converting his former taxi passengers into buying customers. So I have a few customers about Greater Portmore. I'm left Greater Portmore, I'm for Gregory Park. A few customers there, so too. Then we left Portmore, and we take it in a waterhouse. There were a few stops in our house, quite a few stops in our house. We left our house, we touched upon the boulevard. And then we were Gilmore on the boulevard, left there so, and we did a tree walks. So we left there so we go, Eustace Place, we go, Champagne Avenue, and Dorian Avenue. Primbo call and then in the afternoon we take it to the plaza. They are food heroes in more than one way because on a Friday Miss Grant sells food. That's right. So on a Friday she prepares soup, fried fish, jerk chicken, barbecue chicken and it's served up with a wide variety of produce so you can get French fries, you can get fried breadfruit, fried plantain, fried sweet potatoes, you name it, she serves it up with her meals. She's the real food hero. Cooking is my hobby. I love cook. I don't know. I must get it from my granny because of that she used to do. And she used to carry me all over in the market at Sablama. I mean, so I grew up with my land. Right. So she used to have me up and down with her as sell. I used to sell like bush them for her and them something there. Till me sell juice, till me scale fish. So a long time I do them something here. Yeah. Yeah, Holy pie years. Yeah, from here five, my granny came to go market. So I know all of this stuff about doing them something there. And to me, hard work. Only when, me, when my body say yes, I'm tired, I'm really tired. But it's like hard work coming like nothing to me. I'm happy to have these food heroes in my life. Take some time and big up the food heroes in your life. And please, always remember, let's not waste any food. Take care till next time.